Hey everyone, Charting Man Dan from ChartGuys.com. You know, behind every single video that we put out every single day, there's a wonderful community of traders that we want to invite you to be a part of. Try the free seven-day trial and gain access to our live market broadcasts every morning and afternoon. Interact with hundreds of like-minded traders or take part in one of our dedicated chat rooms, each led by an analyst that's there to answer your questions in real time. Our trial is risk-free with absolutely no commitment or credit card required to experience the TCG community. For those looking for a head start in technical analysis, check out our entries and exits course in the link below in the description. Get up to speed with the fundamentals of TCG technical analysis and experience over five hours of great community-driven trading education. Hey everyone, checking back in on the market. Spy bulls out in force here towards the end of the week. And we filled the gap to the downside yesterday. That was a really nice oversold bounce. We got a lot of nice bullish entries. Only the brave would certainly swing it into today. But those were absolutely huge gains for anybody that did. But it was really an ideal scenario with the 5-minute RSI being in single digits or right above single digits for SPY as we filled that gap. Bulls bought the dip, held strong, held the bull flag pattern. Then we get bull flag confirmation and continuation to the upside, close at the all-time high, and we're looking for more all-time highs tomorrow because of where that momentum was headed. So the bull, the bull move here on this candlestick is so powerful, in my opinion, because it's coming after consolidation. When we saw this move on the way up, we, we continued and we had you know, a nice solid bull move, but it was the upper wicks of profit taking. It was the small candlesticks. This is a power candlestick. It's the strongest bull day that we have seen in probably over a month at this point, just looking back and definitely over a month. And in my opinion, it's because of that con consolidation, cool things off, and then bulls show back up. So extremely strong weekly chart continues on the verge of a bullish MACD cross and every single dip gets bought up by these bulls. It's redundant at this point. It's all of 2017. It's even since the election longer than that. So we're talking six months now of just all bulls all the time. No signs of any weakness. Look at the last time we saw two clear bear days in a row. And I have to look back here to mid-April. And that's just astounding. IWM turning things around. Look at that momentum. Huge bull volume. So we had a clear lower high, lower low pattern. We broke that today. We had our higher low yesterday. The bulls bought the dip very significantly. And then huge bull volume follow through. Close at the high above the recent lower high. And we're now looking back up towards the all-time high. 139.48, 140.34 are the first two resistances we will encounter. And we're on the verge of a bull MAC decross with that big bull volume to back it up. Weekly time frame suddenly looks much better with this little double low. It's not exactly double low. It's a higher low. Breaking the lower high pattern on the weekly time frame. IWM bulls late to the party, but they're catching up. And QQQ continues strong as always. New all-time high. Bulls continue to buy the dips, holding exponential support. No slowdown in sight. Upper Bollinger Band daily resistance. Weekly Upper Bollinger Band resistance as well. But the bulls are in full control of this market. And what we're seeing is constant rotating back and forth. We're seeing XLK being the main leader with the tech sector on absolute fire. But then on days like today, where we see the tech sector pull back initially, of course, the bulls bought that dip. As always, today was a day of recovery for the financial sector. So a very bearish day for the financial sector yesterday, while the biotech bulls stayed strong. Now the biotech bulls, or excuse me, the tech bulls, now the tech bulls take a breather and the financial bulls show up strong and the biotech bulls were out in full force today as well so really it's just a tag team effort by all these sectors keeping the bulls in full control with no slowdown in sight and we are certainly not going to be fighting this trend at this point and we're looking for new all-time highs tomorrow we'll check back in over the weekend see if we get those have a great night see you soon